Hey y'all, I got a uh, surprise video. I'm gonna be pulling the dash out of this guy because mine has a big old injury to it right there where the previous owner glued a mount for his GPS. Um, saying all that, I wanted to do a video showing how to remove the console for a, uh, a member online, but somebody uh, already got here. Uh, typically, you pull this up. This piece will be here, and you will unbolt the fasteners and pull this out. Actually, it'll be sitting like this. Sorry. So the fasteners will be, you see the uh, mounts right there. You'll remove this, and then you're able to remove this whole center section here. And then you'll want to unplug wires to give yourself more room. A lot of times if you own the car it's easier you can just put it in gear. Oh, cool. Somebody already did the column so then you can pull this off easier. Uh, this particular model is an 05. Um, and then you'll pull this piece out. You're going to want to unplug everything. I hate that's all apart. I'll do a full video when I do my car, but this is where we want to be to remove the, uh, the dash. And you'll see we've got screws here. And that is not an 8 millimeter. Hold up. Let's try this again with a 7. Uh, much better. Okay, hang on to those guys. I'm gonna stick them in here for now. Then, so I remember right, there's some bits under here. Let me get my uh, pry tool, hang on. All right, darn mosquitoes, go away. All right, I've got two under here. I don't, I was told somewhere in the vent area, but we've got two down here, let me pull those. Okay, those are free. They were also seven millimeter. We're gonna have two more here and here above the glove box. So here and here and here. Okay. To get the glove box out of the way, these little guys twist and then pull out. So counterclockwise and pull out and then that gives you a little more leeway I'll have to figure out how that comes apart I may not need it to because I'm just going after this top part but I needed more clearance correction there were four we've got one see the glares getting me two three and four I couldn't see till I got down under the glare. I was trying to look through the phone. Um, looks like there's a fastener down in there. So, let me see what I can figure out. I'll let y'all know. Okay. These little guys here look like these. I very gently got up under them with this. I had to get my finger and get them out. And then this piece pops out. I don't have my stand, so I'm trying to do this. There we go. There. You can see how it's got the two clips in this little guy who hooks in the back here and then the clips pop it out that way Then we've got our sensor there for the door our pin switch I'm going to unplug him he should just looks like he just pulls right out but I need two hands my apologies upon flipping him over you see there's a, a little lip there so you're going to want to catch that lip to get the uh, the wire out I'm sorry it's not focusing All right, I just flicked it, and there you go. Pulls right out. I think it's the lighting. 
This is not an ideal situation, but I'm trying to document things for you as I go. See, it's got this little piece. I'm trying to hurry because I got another special if all works out. All right, back behind the vent, we see here there's another seven. I'll pull him. Back on the other side, it doesn't appear that we have any uh, fasteners holding this in, so it should just pull, I hope. Looks like there may be little clippies. Two hands for the win. It's kind of wedged down there in the bottom, you see, with this piece here, so you want to be gentle. Same deal. There, y'all can see that a little bit better now. The uh, clip there. So we'll just go like that. Yeah, I'll say that one-handed. There. And it releases. Oh! There's your door pin switch. Okay. Let's see if I can figure out what else we need to do to get this. We're going to be removing this here. One and two. Those are Phillips. Okay, with those two screws out, this piece just pulls forward. There we go. See, it's held on by a clip and a clip and your screws. In case you couldn't see, I did that kind of faster up in there. And again, they are Phillips. Okay. So, all that's free. trying to figure this all out. Again, somebody just told me, and I thought it was literally just these guys, the unders, and the vents. I'm not seeing what's holding the top in, though. I'm wondering if those little clips have something to do with it, or if there's any screws down in the vents. I'll figure it out and let you know. Well, I pop those little caps off and there is this big bolt down in there, but I can't tell if that's part of the dash or not. I did find one more fastener on this side, up under, so I'll pull him. Okay, so that appears to be a 13, at least that's what fit. Um, I started to get it coming up, but notice the washer's getting caught on this a pillar so I'm popping this panel and pulling that fastener out good lord y'all I didn't know I was gonna have to take the whole daggum thing apart but apparently a pillars have to come off you can see this little trough here yep that's the key and this is why you don't go snatching and grabbing and banging and breaking stuff so I got to remove that one over there and remove that one and this was a seven millimeter this little guy here you can access through the hole who's in there some there it is he's gonna drop inside of here so unless you're magnetic so I'm gonna do the same on the other side uh, well you know what y'all come with me let's see Again, I don't know what's happening with the focus and with the light. The camera's having a heck of a time with it. So, my apologies. But you just get your little plastic pry tool, pop him out, and he falls down. Anyway, there. There you go. Golly. All right. Like I said again, a seven millimeter, so he's out and in the panel. Get your fingers under there, pull out and up, gentle, and then you'll see down in there. Apparently, I guess that's what you need to do, pull that A-pillar before you go trying to pull on that plastic. But there's your... 13 down in there. Boy. 
and it's not very tight so I was able to do this with a quarter inch that's what I had easy access to oh 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 and that's just in there finger tight so I'm gonna do this without y'all having to watch the whole thing okay he's out now oh make sure I keep all my tools together all right let's see what we've got hopefully now we're starting to get somewhere all right I'm gonna need two hands for this so I'm gonna set y'all down and see what if anything is holding it up y'all ready for this ta-da <laughs> Two more stupid ass screws. <laughs> oh, let me get them out. My tool won't fit. Hang on. Yep. Uh, ebony with hole. <laughs> and there you go. That is how you pull the dash out of a Saturn view. Now, this should be the same 0405, 02. 03 cannot say about 06 07 it's probably very similar but i do not know if the dashes are identical because i do not know if all this molding is the same um because they are it is a facelift version the newer ones but that is how you pull this no need to pull these guys they all come as an assembly but yes dear folks whoo i don't have to have a hole in my dash anymore hallelujah all right, well, there's your uh, another installment for the uh, 04 Saturn View project, and we're going to be doing another one shortly.